The whole Progressive Congress got its first female presidential aspirant on Thursday as Mrs. Uju Onya Ohaneye bought the party's expression of interest and nomination forms in Abuja. Ohaneye told newsmen after picking the forms that male aspirants in the race would not succeed in intimidating her. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Media. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. You know how we do it. This is a place to be. This is the only reliable channel you can get your news from. So in order to join this big community we have here, go on to the subscribe button and click on it. Also give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Without further ado, Let's dive straight into the news for today. The All Progressive Congress got its first female presidential aspirant on Thursday as Mrs. Uju Ohaneye bought the party's expression of interest and nomination forms in Abuja. Ohaneye told newsmen that, told newsmen after picking the forms, that male aspirants in the race would not succeed in intimidating her. She said, and I quote, My fear is that men will want to muzzle me out, but I am standing firmly for the people I am here to protect. They will want to push me over, but I cannot be intimidated. I have been emboldened, she said. The news agency of Nigeria reports that APC's presidential nomination and expression of interest forms sell for 100 million naira. A whooping 100 million naira. Hmm. Female aspirants, youth, and persons with disability vying for any elective office on the platform of a party are to pay 50% of a cost. However, Ohaneye said, like said, like the male presidential aspirant, she had what it takes to lead the country to the next phase of development. She said she would withdraw from the race for any aspirant with the vision and desire to address growing poverty and insecurity. In the country. The aspirant stressed, however, that as a mother, she had the magic wand to do things better. It is so obvious, and all of us know that it is time for a mother to come on board, she said. She said, and I also quote, as it is today, consider the state of insecurity in the country and other things children need motherly care we can understand that from their attitude i have never been a politician but because of what i have seen i just felt i should come on board the major solution i am bringing on board is to involve the commoners and the less privileged in the governance of a country she said Ohaneye, a legal practitioner, said there was the need to involve the common man and the governance of a country and a great job opportunities for the taming unemployed youths. She said Nigerian youths were very intelligent and should not be allowed to be engaged in antisocial activities. She said, and I quote, I am going to localize the construction of roads and many other things. I won't copy the Westerners all through, all through because they have their ways of constructing roads which make the construction very expensive, she said. She explained that local, locals would be engaged in road construction to get them involved and to enable them to earn incomes to reduce unemployment and keep the people busy and out of mischief. Ohaneye explained 
that she was not interested in contesting the governorship seats in her state because she didn't want to be limited to a particular region or place. I want to be out of out for all Nigerians, be you Christian, Muslim, male, female, I don't care. I just want to be there to ensure that everybody feels good. Lack of love, selfishness and bias are the causes of insecurity. People no longer feel any sense of belonging or reason to leave, she observed. She said she would support the speculated consensus option to pick the APC's presidential candidate on the condition that the major reason of her joining the race was addressed. Those issues concerning the downtrodden must be addressed. I don't really care if any other person other than I takes up the responsibility, but the person must be one who will look into solving the problems of Nigeria, she said. More than 10 aspirants have so far joined the APC presidential race. There are, they are Vice President Yemi Usibanjo, the APC national leader Bola Tinobo, the Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi, and former Imo State Governor Richard Sokorocha. Others are Governor Yahaya Belu of Kogi State. The Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chris Ngige, the Minister of State for Education, Chuko Emeka Umwajoba, Governor David Umwahi of Eboin State, Pastor Tunde Bakari and Senator Ken in Namani. Other aspirants are the Ekiti State Governor, Kayodi Fayemi from Ekiti State, and ex Ogun State Governor Senator Ibi Kunle Amosun, APC Ogun Central, the APC Special Presidential Primary Convention is scheduled to be held from Monday, May 30 to Wednesday, June 1st. This is the news coming to you from Newsroom Media. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please stay subscribed. We'll be bringing you juicy news as from today. As we all know, the presidential um, election is, is in top gear and everybody is, everybody is preparing. In, they are preparing, the preparation is in top gear. Everybody is making preparations. You know, campaign has started. The primaries will be in may by the end of this month that is apc primary so we by that time by ending of this month to beginning of next month we shall know who will be representing each parties this is where i'm going to draw the curtain for today bye for now